Kids, I am so excited that you decided to join us for church this morning. Before we get started, let us pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you, Lord, that we can gather together worshiping you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will bless our time. In your name I pray. Amen. Let's worship. Feeling down, you pick me up. Sing, oh, oh, oh. And when my heart is feeling emptied out, you fill my cup. Sing it out now. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to say thank you for the way you love me. I want to say thank you for the way you love me. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing.
and strength training. <laughs> and even training my brain for a month. It's like training has been my life. Like I thought about this race constantly when I decided what to eat. Mm. Mm. Oh, when I chose how to spend my time. From morning until night, I kept my mind on the race. That's what you gotta do when you truly commit to something. Like, you've gotta live like it's important to you. Today's story is about a woman who lived her whole life that way. I'll see you when you get back. I've gotta get this party started! Out with the bad air, in with the good. Skip it up! Let's work! Quick, get! Get, get, get! I'm ready! One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight, this will be a piece of cake. No! Oh. 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 You were so fast. Two out of three? Eight out of ten. All right, one, two, three. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. And I personally am very excited to be here today because mm -hmm. I have something special up my sleeve. Oh, really? You got a surprise for us? No, I have something special up my sleeve. Oh, you meant that literally. I mean, usually when people use that expression, it's because they have a surprise or they have something unexpected to share. Oh, well, I have that too. Oh, really? What is it? Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Ooh. Sis, come on in. Grab a seat. All right, uh, you're Lawson's sister? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Yeah. Brandon? Oh yeah, you know me. Yes, Brandon is my name. Lawson, talk about me? Yep. Uh, who does he think's funnier, me or John? Uh... You know what? I have a better question for you. Why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? Ooh. Well, I'm Ivy Catherine and I know a lot about music. Oh, well, that's cool. Do you, do you play an instrument or something? Yeah, I play several, uh, but the most fun is playing in our family band. Family? You have a family band? I've told you this before, Brandon. No, you have not. I would have remembered that. Flashback! What are we going to do on the show this week? I feel like we've done everything. Oh, we can bring on my sister and brothers. We have a really cool family band. There's just nothing new out there. And that's happened three other times. I'd flash back to those two, but it's literally the same interaction. No way, I'm sorry, Lawson. A family band sounds really cool. Thanks. Yeah, what kind of music do you play? So we do mashups and covers of songs, but we have our own unique style of how we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are seven of us, but we all play the same piano. But it's not just the keys. We open up the top and we play the strings and the sides of the piano as well. What? Seven people on one piano? Most of the time, yeah. Sometimes we'll add in a few other things like a tambourine or a bongo drum, but that's it. Wait, okay, does it hurt the piano to like bang on it like that? No, not at all. It's actually a very robust instrument. Huh. Everyone wonders that though. Yeah, that must be a lot of hard work getting the parts down just right. It is. Uh, two of our brothers do the arrangement, and then from there we divide up the parts, learn the music, figure out choreography, and then it's hours and hours and hours of practice. Huh. Yep, we practice until we fall over. Seriously? No, not till we actually fall. You know, we, we just practice a lot. Because if one person gets off beat, it can throw off the whole piece. Oh, well that makes sense. So how long does it take for you to learn one piece? Uh, about a month from start to finish. Yeah, it takes a lot of commitment, even just for one piece, but I think it's totally worth it. Do you want to see a sample? <laughs> Absolutely. Cue the video.
was awesome. You guys, that was, that was thank you for coming on the show, Ivy Catherine. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh man, Lawson, that was great. Seriously. You should have told me you had a family band sooner. I Damn. did, Brandon. It's I Bible don't... story time with Kevin. Hey guys. Hey Kevin. Hey hey. What's going on today? Oh, Lawson's sister came on. Their family is so talented. Did you know he's in a family band? Of course. Lawson's always talking about them. Okay, I get it. What's going on with you, Kellen? Well, today's story begins with Jesus and his disciples hanging out where people gave their offerings at the temple. You guys up for helping me out? Sure thing. You got it. Great. Because it's time for our human head puppet theater. Whoa. There sure is a big crowd of people to give money at the temple today, right, Jesus? I have so much money. Hmm. How should I lighten the load of my heavy pockets? I guess I'll give some to the temple. To God. Because I'm so generous. Hee <laughs> Money. Jesus watched the crowds come and put their money into the offering boxes. A lot like how today we put money into the offering at church. There were a lot of rich people who came and gave large amounts. Oh, don't mind me. Just giving a lot of money today. Yay. Wow, the people here really are generous. Don't you think so, Jesus? Ha. Huh. How much should I give to God today? I have a lot. I suppose I can give a lot. Ooh, look at me being all generous and stuff. A little later, a poor widow came into the temple. She put in two very small copper coins. They were only worth a few pennies. What? That lady caught your attention? Jesus said, that poor widow has put more into the offering box than all the others. What? No, no, Jesus, didn't you see what all the others gave? I mean, they gave way more. I mean, way more. The others gave a lot because they are rich. But she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. That was all she had to live on. That is generous. Jesus knew that by giving all she had, the poor widow was trusting God with her entire life. The end. Bravo! That's amazing. Isn't it? The poor widow had so much faith. She showed us what it could look like to live completely for God. I wish I had that much faith. You can. But... Like everything else, living for God takes practice. It takes commitment. Like with your family band. Totally. Thanks for the story, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. I really do want to learn how to live for God. Well, then let's learn together. Hmm? Reveal the question. How can you live for God? Yeah, that's a big question. Where do you even start? It's like Kellen said, it takes practice. You yeah. can practice by hearing what God says to us in the Bible or through other people. Yeah, you can live for God when you pray and when you talk to other people about Him. Yeah, it's about honoring God and treating others the way you want to be treated. What are some of your answers? How can you live for God? You guys talk it out, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And this was <laughs> The, the So-and-So so and so show. show! So and so... So, show, so, so, show, is that the so and show? Yes, I think it is. Wow, the so and so show is my favorite kids show ever. Five, six, seven, eight, off. Coming to a streaming service near you. Record a solo. Oh, no. This was a mistake. I think so. We took a vote. You're out of the band.
Nobody else thought a poor woman giving two small coins was a big deal. But Jesus saw the truth. Other people gave because they were rich. This woman gave everything she had because she was putting her trust in God. She was living for Him. And that's something to celebrate. <laughs> Living for God is about more than giving money. It's about trying to include God in every part of your day. It's about asking yourself before every choice you make, does this honor God? I could copy my friend's homework or do the work myself like I'm supposed to. I'm gonna do the work or ask yourself, does what I'm about to do show love to others? My friend didn't get me anything for my birthday. Should I get even by giving her nothing? Or should I forgive her? Well, I did already wrap it. She's gonna love it. <laughs> if you ask yourself those questions, it'll help keep your mind on God. It'll help you think about how Jesus lived and loved others. This probably won't become a habit overnight. That's why the one thing to remember today is this. Practice living for God. The more you practice asking yourself, does this honor God? And does this show love to others? The more natural it becomes. It feels good to commit to something and stick to it. I'm glad I committed to running a 5K. I feel stronger and healthier and between you and me, I think I'm going to start training for another one. But first, we celebrate. <laughs> See you around. Hello friends, hope you enjoyed our story for today as we learned about the widow's mite. You see friend, Jesus was at the temple and he saw many rich people throwing coins in the offering plate. And they were doing it so others people would see them and acknowledge them. But Jesus noticed the heart of the widow. The widow was someone who lost her husband. And she did not have much. She only had two coins. And she wished she could give more. But all she had were those two coins. And Jesus saw what she was doing and acknowledged her. You see, friends, it is so important that we give what we all have with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We are called to live as people of compassion. And we are called to give, not because we have to, but because we should be cheerful and generous givers. For our question of the day, I want you to think about how can you live for God? Think about that question and discuss it with your family. I pray you have a blessed week.